Hey guys, Chrissy White here. I'm in the studio today with Koof, and we're going to show you five different ways to light your portraits. We're going to be using professional strobes today, but you can use any lights that you have on hand. It doesn't really matter, light is light. Most of these setups only use two lights, but first we're going to show you how to light your portraits using window light and a reflector. Using window light can create a very soft portrait. You can place your model next to the window and use a reflector on the opposite side of their face to create a very balanced light. If you want a very nice, even light on your model, I recommend you shoot them during a time where the sun isn't coming directly through the window. Otherwise, if you want something more dramatic, moody, maybe some shadows on the wall, I recommend you shoot your model during sunrise or sunset. The next lighting setup is called side lighting. This can bring out a very moody atmosphere in your image. It can be achieved very easily by placing one light to the side of your model and then using a black card on the opposite side. This casts a shadow on one side of your model's face so that the light is split almost exactly down the middle. If you want some drama but you don't want it to be too moody, you can place the light... <laughs> what am I saying? If you want some drama but you don't want it to be too moody, you can place a white card on the opposite side of your model's face where the light is shining. This will create a soft fill so that the side of your model's face that is not illuminated by the light will not be in complete shadow. The next lighting setup we're going to show you is called butterfly lighting. This is commonly used as a beauty light as it creates a very nice, even lighting. You can achieve this effect by placing the light in front of your model and then tilting it downwards to about 45 degrees. This creates a butterfly-shaped shadow underneath their nose. You can also put a reflector underneath their chin to reduce the shadows on their face even more. This is a common setup for beauty portraits as it creates a very flattering light. The next lighting setup that we'll be showing you today is called split lighting. This lighting effect is very dramatic and flashy. It's a good lighting setup to use for athletes or in fashion photography. It can be achieved by placing two lights approximately 45 degrees behind the model. If you want to soften the light and make it less dramatic, you can add a butterfly light to the front of your model. If you're ever curious about what lighting setup a photographer used, I recommend looking in the eyes of the model you'll see something called catch lights. The catch lights in the model's eyes will tell you approximately where the lights were placed and what kind of modifier was used. The last lighting setup that we're going to show you today is called backlighting. This can be achieved by placing your light source behind your model. If you want to create a hair or rim light effect using the backlight, you can place another light to the front of your model or a white card to fill in the shadow and cast light on their face. If you want to add some atmosphere to your photos or you're feeling a little bit more creative, you can add colored gels to the front of your lights. Just like this one behind me. This one behind me. <laughs> like this one behind me. This can be achieved by using photographic gels or something like cellophane. But if you're using a hot light, be careful because it can melt the plastic. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know studio lighting can seem daunting at first, but it's a great way to take your photos to the next level. I hope you'll try these lighting setups out for yourself and do some experimenting. Feel free to share your photos with us and don't forget to subscribe.